Alright, so how about that match? Uploading it um, to show that yes, I do upload losses, but on the other hand, to show that uh, indeed, um, wow, uh, support can't always support an unwilling carry, I guess. Uh, although I did help Lux out a decentish amount. Um, I don't know what was up with that, Ezreal. Uh, we did have a long, extensive post-game conversation that I actually closed out the window before it occurred to me that I should put that in the conversation. Um, but I'm not going to go ahead and point fingers or names or anything like that. I'm uh, going to go ahead and look at Sona and all of her abilities. I did kind of briefly go over her abilities, but I didn't quite get all the time to as action was going off um, rather everywhere. So this is um, over Sona, Maven of the Strings. Her health was average. Uh, I think her health was kind of weak. Uh, I don't quite know. I mean, she wasn't as squishy, I guess, as, say, a four-bar like Rise. So I guess that's why they put her at average. But decentish health. If you do go Arasona, despite, you know, what you saw there, if you can get a Shirelius, if you can get a Soul Shroud, um, that'll usually bump up your health around 3k or so. Um, and then... If no one has an Aegis, you might get an Aegis instead of the Soul Shroud. That'll bump up your resistances a decent bit as well. Um, her attack is weak. You saw me, I'd be like throwing out the odd little string and it wasn't doing too much damage to uh, Ramus or to their Ash, but it was doing its job in harassing them, and especially when I would use Power Cord, which does empower um, those auto attacks with either uh, with just doing more damage or depending on the Aura. Uh, an extra effect, like double of the extra damage or the slow, etc. We'll get to that when we get to abilities. Her spells are strong. Um, she's got a really nice kit. Um, it's just how she's designed. She doesn't quite have too strong of a poke with her um, Q, her uh, Him of Valor, but uh, it can be used against other squishies, just against Ramus, which was constantly in the front. Of course, wasn't going to do too much. Her difficulty use is currently easy. As with her, as you can see, it was pretty much like, oh, they're coming after us. Hit E, hit W while E is recharging. Hit E again. Pop your Shirelias. That well, you don't necessarily have to get Shirelias on Sona, so I guess that's why it's easy. Um, oh, look, it's the middle of a team fight. Hit your Q. Hit your W. Hit your R when they're all clumped up. Um, very simple to use Sona for that. I do think maybe she should go up to a medium difficulty, though, if only because she is really squishy. Now, in that game, um, I do believe I did do a pretty bad job, as I kept on assuming that we were all going to group up, and so I was always constantly a little bit overextended, and uh, I got punished horribly by Ash Arrow and Ramus Powerball Taunt twice, um, once in bottom lane and once in the mid lane. And after every team fight, of course, I got picked off as if I couldn't help my teammates get away, then I clearly wasn't getting away. Um, Him of Valor is her Q ability. Sona plays the Him of Valor, granting nearby allied champions bonus damage and ability power. Additionally, casting this ability sends out bolts of sound, dealing magic damage to the nearest two enemy champions or monsters. Um, very basically, um, in-game during uh, the uh, laning phase, you use this to harass people, uh, just throwing down your Q and uh, trying to lower the health down. Now, if they're not in range, uh, then it, you're just going to change the Him of Valor. Same with your heal or your move speed. You're just going to change that aura. Um, but um, when you can hit two champions, it's nice, but you do have to walk up a little bit close to them, so you have to be a little bit cautious there. Same for auto attacks. Especially when you're playing up against a champion with a leap attack, like Jax or Pantheon, getting a range of a Him of Valor could mean you are getting hit in the face with a leap, so be careful about when you use these. Um, it does give nearby ally champions bonus and ab attack damage and ability power, so you do want to use this uh, or have this aura on constantly in your uh, laning phase to help with last hitting and to just boost the damage that your pokes are doing um, with your uh, AP skills that your uh, carry is using or whoever you are laning with. Um, aura of Perseverance, they're getting hit. Run away, you know, pop a hit your Aria of Perseverance because what it does is it grants nearby ally champions bonus armor and magic resistance and it heals Sona and a nearby wounded ally. So what this means is, oh no, Amumu just ulted. You've popped your move speed and maybe you popped your heal before the Amumu ultimate. And what this Aria does is it does make them more tanky with bonus armor and magic resistance a handful, a bit. Um, I do only get uh, two points in it, maybe three, before maxing out uh, quickness second. 
um, and uh, Valor first, but some people do go heal first. Um, but this will, you know, make you and that champion running away in the lane a little bit more tanky for those last hit ultimates and ranged abilities um, while, you know, keeping their health up. So fairly decent for that. If you're in the middle of a poking game, you kind of want to have Aria Perseverance up as a handful of AP, I feel would be not as useful as Aria of Perseverance. If you are, for some reason, able to get close enough for a him during a poking fight uh, without getting uh, stunned or CC, then by all means, uh, have fun with that. Um, Slong Celerity, it uh, just gives all nearby allied champions bonus move speed. Additionally, casting this ability energizes nearby allies with a burst of speed. Basically what this does is you activate it and your allied champions get a version of Ghost uh, for however long it is, depending on what level you have Song of Celerity at. Additionally, they'll get a base amount of move speed, um, anywhere from like, I believe, I think it's up to like 9 or nine to somewhere 9 to 15 move speed max. I cannot remember though, so I'd have to check that number. But you do get passive increased move speed. Um, this sort of uh, helps her get more on par with Janna as her passive it gives everyone extra move speed. Running Song of Celerity and then activating it as well as having Shirelius makes your team extremely speedy. I have gone games where I did not get boots uh, with uh, Arasana because I had Shirelius and Song of Celerity maxed. Crescendo, her ultimate, she does play her ultimate chord forcing enemy champions to dance, taking magic damage over time. I haven't quite noted the magic damage over time too much. Sometimes I've gotten a kill with Crescendo, but that's not its main purpose. What you want to do is pretend you're like a Moomoo, except you don't have a charge ability besides the uh, move speed increase, and you're squishy. Um, but try to wait for your initi tank to initiate uh, taunt to whoever it is. Try to get it up close and pop your Crescendo if possible, and it's going to be sort of like a secondary Moomoo -moo ultimate, which actually stuns them instead of just preventing them from moving or attacking, so this will interrupt channels such as Nunu's ultimate or Katarina's ultimate. So, very in nice ultimate to have. Um, if you are getting chased down by a melee champion, and you, um, this can help save your life, maybe, depending on how much slows they have on you or if they have a leap. Playing as Sona, being sure to use uh, Him's uh, Valor's bonus ability power from powering your next spell. Fairly simple. Don't use Him of Valor and then move speed if you can get away with it, unless you need to use your move speed. Use Him of Valor and then use your heal, say, or another Him of Valor. So that way your heal heals for more or your Him of Valor hits for more. Um, Safe Crescendo for the game altering moment. Basically, they're all clumped up. Ultimate! And then, you know, oh no, they can't do anything and your team gets to jump on their faces. Very nice to have. When playing against Sona, spread out so she can't make her entire team dance. Basically, don't clump up so that she can't make them all dance. Uh, fairly straightforward. Kill Sona first, as she will heal up, heal up her team if left alone for too long. And as you can see, they're doing an amazing job with it that game, uh, getting focused. Um, her story is about how she was an infant, and she uh, can't talk, I believe. Um... I don't know. You can go ahead and read all of her lore in the story. Just have several skins, Silent Knight, Muse, and Pentakill. You can go look at that at your leisure. Up for a game, I'm going to have to go and minimize that. Looks like I did wait too long. He is in-game. So that's going to be Sona's abilities. Going over to runes real quick. I do go ahead and just use that AP support page that I've been boasting uh, for the last few videos. Getting gold quints, as you shouldn't be getting too many last hits as a support. Um, one, because generally uh, from a small amount of support your farming ability isn't the best but two if you're laned with the carry you should try to feed your carry last hits unless of course you don't trust your carry to get last hits and then you can go ahead and do whatever um, magic penetration uh, runes because your poking early game is very key to uh, helping your carry get last hits and just to uh, stay alive if you do not like uh, getting sort of a damage mark you can go mana reds you could He's a little bit uh, silly or obscure and try cooldown reduction, but magic penetration seems to be the norm. I do think if you don't have magic penetration reds, though, and, I don't know, physical damage or something, it will work out, because I don't feel they're too essential on Sona, unless you're building her AP carry. Mana regeneration per level seals is a must-have, as uh, Sona is very mana-hungry, hence why I start with a... Uh, fairy Charm and Mana Potions and upgrade that to a Philosopher's giving me an extra plus 10 MP per 5 as well as this, and I still have some mana issues. And then getting Magic Resistance uh, flat as uh, so, ugh, Sona getting hit by AD Champions shouldn't happen because of all the move speed she has, 
but uh, getting hit by spellcasters in a quick one second burst can bring her down rather easily, so magic resistance is fun. If you don't feel like you need the magic resist, take cooldown reduction. Um, or ability power per level, but on Sona you want to be hitting those uh, W or QWER as much as possible, as that's her quote unquote sole purpose in life, aside from making sure you have the right aura on for when you toss her passive. Um, so cooldown reduction would work fine. Same for the quintessences. So that's the runes I use on her. You can see the stats on the side. And going over quickly to masteries. So I do go 9-0-21 on her. I could possibly go more defense to make her more tanky. Um, although our items generally do make her somewhat tanky. I do go ahead and get improved clairvoyance. And I do not get improved heal. Um, getting instead good hands. I could possibly go teleport clairvoyance or teleport heal. Um... But I do feel Clairvoyance is a needed uh, spell on a good number of support champions. Um, if not, um, you can always take uh, Teleport and Clarity if you need to, or some odd mix, as Clarity is often used on Sona, as she can heal, but she can't give her allies mana. Um, getting move speed, very important. You might think, oh, well, I have a lot of move speed. Why do I get 3% extra move speed? Because they will chase you down. Uh, very simple as that. Uh, cooldown reduction is of course always fun, hence the 9 and the 21, giving me an extra 9 base cooldown reduction. Neutral buff duration was just something I went to instead of getting 1.25% extra mana, um, because when she does get blue buff oddly from the weird kill that she gets maybe now and then, it is nice to have longer. You can get rid of this point if you like. Greed, because again, you shouldn't really be lasting too hard. Mana regeneration, because you need it. Experience, as it'll help you get ahead. Although, I guess you could go an expanded mind, but I just prefer awareness as a reference, of course. You can go ahead and actually look at the summoner abilities. Exhaust on Sona is a little bit weird. You can sort of use Exhaust as an escape, and then during team fights, use the improved Exhaust to help neutralize their carry, provided you can get close enough. Sona is supposed to be staying back with all of the squishies and then only moving up uh, if uh, there's no one uh, who's penetrated your line of uh, squishies and melees or they're too close. But you can go Exhaust if you like. I don't. It's just a preference. You can go Ghost, Move Speed, uh, Utility, Move Speed, uh, Abilities. Why not even more Move Speed? Ghost will pretty much make sure that you never get caught unless they flash, leap, I don't know, something you, where they just blink right up to your face. Uh, Ghost will help keep you alive, but again, it's a survivability skill not quite necessary. I take heal on Sona because she is squishy early game and getting you or your uh, fellow laning champion spiked down early game, having that summoner heal will save lives. Even if you do go max the heal first uh, you're still going to need summoner heal to make some clutch saves during that game. Revive, um, I'm not too certain. Some jungling builds use it some team composition to use it use it if uh, you're used to using revive or you need practice with Sona. Um, Smite, you're not jungling with her, please don't take it. Teleport, uh, very supporty skill, make sure that you're always with the team, uh, not getting cut off, although she does have a lot of move speed to help her get around the map. Um, it's just something I don't take. Um, if you find yourself taking clarity, you can try taking teleport, and just watch your mana and recall and teleport back. Uh, keeping yourself in the fight and getting to go shop while you're at it, and then later on when clarity isn't such a big issue, Although I think the Sonic could be potentially for the entire game. Um, you can use Teleport to just move around. Cleanse. Well, you did see how Ramus Taunt, that game, or Ash Arrow, pretty much spelled my death several times. Cleanse would have been a very nice skill to have, but then again, here you are taking Cleanse blindly in normal. So it's up to you on whether or not you want to take Cleanse. Fortify can be a supporty skill. If you find yourself being squishy instead of taking heal, I could have taken Fortify and just, oh no, they're pushing us, they're going to dive me, activate Fortify, maybe try to kill them with a Fortified turret. Um, not quite my playstyle, but some people do do that. Clarity, Sona does have mana issues, not taking Clarity um, or taking Clarity, both can be just good things. If you don't take Clarity, be sure that you know you can handle the mana problems. Ignite on Sona. Well, if you're going AP uh, carry Sona, then I can sort of certainly see an Ignite. Outside of that, not quite, um, potentially, but it's an odd choice. Only take it if no one else on your team has an Ignite, because their Sona or Soraka or Taric will just 
dominate without anyone having an ignite. Rally, you don't quite need a rally. While this is a supporty skill, uh, you don't really need to increase allied attack damage unless, say, you're pre-made and you're the only support and everyone else is AD, in which case, hmm, rally might be a good choice then. Clairvoyance, supporty skill, lets you check bushes, which lets you get off your passive or auto attacks, lets you save um, your allies if you can clairvoyance and ambush coming towards them because you didn't have time to set up a ward there. Stuff like that. Flash, of course, being used to escape, uh, or running up, hitting your ultimate, flashing away, or flashing in and popping your ultimate, and then just walking away with uh, move speed aura. Uh, those are all the basic uh, summoner abilities. Again, some of them are preference. I just go ahead and use clairvoyance and heal. It does make me more slower, but I do like that more support e role. Um, that spells, that's masteries, that's runes, that's the champion itself. I do believe that does conclude our post game. Gonna go ahead and go back to the match history. Um, did end up going 187, which is terrible, I know, and I apologize for that. Um, didn't kill anything, dealt 59,000 damage, 502, took 19,963. I ended up healing, doesn't it say healing? I only healed for 8,913. I only earned 8,752 gold. Only killed one person, as you can see by the 187. Dealt 41,463 magic damage, and I took 9,162. And oddly enough, I dealt 18,039 physical damage just with my auto attacks over time, and I took 10,743. Time spent dead was a little bit over 5 minutes, uh, actually approaching 6 minutes at 340 seconds. Um, this is Observius, and I hope you guys enjoyed the game and the post-game. Signing out.